Caps commentary. And, uh, as you can tell that I started recording a tad late because I'm smart and completely forgot to hit that record button. Um, today we got a game of Domination. Yeah, Domination on Array. Using the Commando with extended mags. I believe a flak jacket. Uh... Side of hand and ninja, most likely. No, it might be marathon. I think it's marathon, yeah. Uh, playing with Jay. Uh, Eviction. I believe Agent K was in this game, also. Not quite sure. Uh, we played a lot uh, the other night, and I got a couple pretty good or pretty decent gameplays. And I am using the kill streaks of 3, 4, and 8. The only non-lethal kill streaks in the game, unless you're like Agent J and use your uh, napalm and don't get a kill in probably 70, <laughs> 70 tries. But <laughs> uh, shit, it doesn't matter. But yeah, I'm using uh, Spy Plane, Counter Spy Plane, and Blackbird. I just want to see what kind of game I could get without using uh, any type of lethal kill streaks, and it turns out to be a pretty damn good game. Um, I'm not the biggest objective player in this game. I mean, I do get some points, but uh, I uh, literally like spawn fuck them, if that's even a, uh, a term in Call of Duty. Uh, you'll see coming up, I just run back and forth to their spawn and and just, just, just shit on them. Uh, <laughs> really all I do but yeah on array um, there's really not that many tips I can give because for one array is a terrible map and it comes up way too much uh, right here I think is where the whole ordeal starts because I got my blackbird up <clears throat> and right here I'm like oh my god oh my god but I fail a couple times A lot of these people had last in, which kind of sucked. But, anyway, back to the old tips. You want to use, um, <laughs> look at me failing. I think you guys would want to use on the Ray, uh, kill streaks that really aren't, uh, piloted, like chopper gunners or, uh, gunships or anything like that. Uh, not like no rolling thunders. Because uh, the buildings, wow, I just smacked the shit out of my mic. Damn, the buildings are kind of everywhere, and you really don't, you really can't kill anybody, especially when they're inside. But I mean, unless you're eviction, because if you're eviction, you'll get a damn chopper gunner every game you play. I swear to God, that every time I play with him, he's got a chopper gunner. But I pick up the M60 because I ran out of ammo with my commando and both Galils that I picked up because I was on such a tear. Um, this really wasn't fair for the other team because we capped uh, C, C and B, or was it? Did we cap A and B? I can't remember, but we capped B, which is really all that matters in domination because you can get A or C at any time, but B is just out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but yeah, you just want to get B whenever you possibly can. And uh, make sure you have Flak Jacket on as your first perk. Because Flak Jacket saves lives and uh, smoke. Um, people kind of overlook smoke, in my opinion, because it's not like a flashbang or a concussion or whatever. Sm yeah, that's my first death right there. 22 and 1. Uh, or 22 kill streak before I die, but... Smoke is overlooked, I think, because it really doesn't help you uh, in general, uh, is what people think. But if you think about it, if you're trying to cap a point and you don't have anyone there, or you do have someone there, and you throw that smoke down, they're just going to have to randomly spray, and it's not going to be very beneficial for them if they can't see you. And if they... Uh, they have, if they have to spray, <laughs> yeah, take that RC. 
But if they have to spray <clears throat> and they can't see you, then they're going to have to throw nades. And that's where flakjacking comes in. If you get hit with a grenade, um, fact that, or not, if you get hit with a grenade with flakjacket on, it's not going to do anything. You just could be like, ah, that kind of tickled. Like, I wish I was recording uh, a couple nights ago. I got hit with two noob tubes, a grenade, I believe like an RPG, and then something else as I uh, got MLG flashbangs, and then another explosive before I literally like couldn't see was like damaged, and then I, and then some douchebag cleaned me up with an RPG, or a M2 lol, or whatever the hell the thing's called. But yeah, I mean, Flag Jacket is probably the most uf useful uh, blue perk besides Ghost. Um, I think I would rather rock Flag Jacket than Ghost now because I rock Counter UAV. And if they get a UAV, I just pop that Counter UAV up and they can't see me like if I had Ghost on. And I still didn't uh, get to waste my first perk if I would have had Ghost, but... Like I said, that's all uh, personal opinion for me. I'm just trying to help you guys out. Just trying to give you guys a little, uh, a little insight on how I play as I pick up my. Oh wait, no, I pick up the F. <coughs> Excuse me, I pick up the FAL. <laughs> I was gonna pick up the M60, but that gun's just too damn big and bulky. I, I hate that thing. I mean, it's a good, good gun, but it's just too bulky for me. And. uh you guys notice that we or I do upload a lot of domination. Um, in all honesty, it's probably the funnest game type, as that kid really, really sucks. <laughs> um, I think it's the fam my my favorite game type because like you get a lot of points, you get a lot of kills, uh, you get to show off your uh, you know, like your objective side. Of uh, like, see how uh, well of a round, round, <coughs> Jesus Christ, a well-rounded player you are, and you're not just a, you're not just a kill, a kill whore, but yeah, we uh, and I do play, I play with Jay and uh, and like Eviction and Agent K and Bio and all of them. I play with him a lot, and we're we're a domination team, uh, in my eyes. I mean. We could get a, a huge, like a, a legit clan and pretty much just kind of manhandle them. Like they, they could be on like a 30 game win streak or something and join our, join our lobby and we'll just mess around and having fun and we'll still end up coming out with a victory somehow. I, I don't know how we do it, but, uh, it's fun. Uh, it really is knowing that you have a team that you can fall back on if you start doing shitty or they start doing shitty they can fall back on you it's always nice to have <clears throat> that comfort level with your own team uh... that's why that's why you see all these uh... games that i post with uh... j and eviction and all them and uh... it's all domination because that's what we're good at and why would you not play something that you're not good at uh... i mean it's like it's like i don't know Michael Vick playing like hockey. It's just not gonna work. You're not good at it. You're not gonna play it. That was a terrible analogy, but it's the first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> but uh, that's a game, guys. I believe I go 34 and three with one capture and no defend. Not the best uh, team game, but I'm Shadow Man, and I'll see you guys later.